All right, car launch week, here we go. Uh, this is Javier from Flat Out Fever. Uh, first off, sorry guys that we didn't do a full show uh, this week, a bunch of stuff came up, but we will be doing that uh, this coming Monday. So in a couple days, uh, we'll have a full show with all, with all of our full analysis and the other two guys. Uh, but for, for today, it's just me, and I just couldn't wait to talk to you guys about, uh, about, about some of these new cars. And starting, of course, with um, the championship defender, Mercedes, uh, what they've come up with uh, for this year, and uh, right away you can you can tell that. They, remember how last year, at around this time, uh, we saw them turn into um, from peppermint in, in, in their sponsor color to more of a spearmint. I guess they've they've just added a, little, a bit more uh, peppermint, a little bit more more blue to it, and these these sweeping lines that I think I have a, a theory on what they've done it this way. Uh, with the, with this particular design uh, for the livery, but other than that, I mean, it's just your silver. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't expect Ferrari to race in other than a red. You would, same way you wouldn't expect um, Mercedes to race in other than their silver. Um, but yeah, they're calling this thing the Mercedes AMG Petronas W08 EQ Power Plus. Actually, rather like just the W08 EQ Power Plus. That's the full name of it. That's what the car is called. Um, it's it, where did this come from? This is uh, Mercedes's new line of uh, electric vehicles. That's what they're calling it. Like the the the, the whole new vehicle line. And it came out last year around August that they applied for a bunch of trademarks uh, for with the letters EQ. So EQA through X or something like that. EQ, A B C D etc. And clearly, I guess what they what they want to do with that. I mean, just it just points out maybe they're going to come up with an EQA and that's going to be their smallest car. And then you know the EQS is probably going to be the equivalent to the S class uh, and so on in their electric range. And to to I guess to sell that to introduce this brand, they've associated themselves with their um, F1 team to promote it. You know, hybrid technology, save the planet, etc. Whatever else uh, that F1 is into now. But I mean, we all know nobody's going to call it that. We're just going to call it the W08. So it's a W08. Come on. Um, but yeah, beautiful car right away. From the front view, we don't. You'd be forgiven for thinking that it's kind of the same car, uh, maybe just an evolution from last year rather than a revolution. Uh, we hope if one people like to talk, um, because of this front wing, I think I think it's like the, the the whole nose cone and front wing configuration. If you look at it head on, um, it, it's very reminiscing of last year's car. The, the front wing kind of looks the same, the, the nose cone kind of looks the same. Um, this air intake is basically the same uh, that we're used to uh, from last year. Um, but other than that, that's sort of where it stops, really. I mean, the, the, the fat tires, look at that, beautiful. This is proper, proper, proper racing tires. Um, but that's sort of where, it's, where it ends now. Um, Scarbs uh, did a really good video uh, on Peter Windsor's channel. I think I put the link uh, down in the description of the of the slides, uh, which we'll be sharing. Um, but it, the, the the suspension right here, apparently they've raced it up a bit over last year, and you can kind of see, you can definitely see that um, for more aerodynamic effect. Now, how that affects their complicated trickery suspension trickery that they've got going on who knows that's all under the cover but from the outside you can see that it's a lot it's a little higher and and it's clearly meant to conduct the air now look at these side pods right there way way narrower um, intakes um, that is gonna be a thing that you're gonna see with other cars this year as well uh, in the side pods but around the side pods they put all these little elements and you can see them here they're kind of hard this is what I was talking about with the with the way that they did the livery around the um, uh, the side pods here because if you look at it here on this picture these extra little wings sort of sort of blend in you, you just see like a like a cut and and don't get the detail but this view here really really puts it in evidence what they're doing. So there's, there's a barge board, and then there's two extra wing elements and just to channel the air around the back. And you're gonna see how the back of this car is gonna be very important. They're really, really, really um, focusing their attention on the airflow around the back of the car. Um, <clears throat> this T-wing, uh, so that's Bottas in it. Uh, Lewis, when he came out, they did the their whole um, 
uh, announcement and whatever an unveiling in Silverstone. I mean, it's a German team, but I think I think they did that on purpose. Uh, to be honest, I mean, other than the fact that the, their their factory is is actually based in England, um, but they could have very well uh, taken it to to Germany and done done this unveil in Germany, but they didn't. I mean, Honda, uh, McLaren, they they took a car um, to Japan, so why couldn't they uh, take it to Germany? I think I think I think it's because of because of this because they 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 actually so so uh, Lewis they gave him wet weather tires. Right, and but they gave Valtteri and and no no T wing, uh, but they gave Valtteri this uh, the the T wing and slicks. I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. Uh, but also yeah, with the front here, oh the other thing that you can see is these rear view mirrors. They're huge. They're pretty massive. Um, but it does look like you can if you can see the detail there and there. It does look like. There is some just extra machines. Like I don't know if they're doing the the thing with the thermal cameras they did last year, where they put them in there, just pointing at the front uh, and rear wheels, just um, to kind of get live telemetry on um, on the temperature of the tires. I'm not sure um, if that's what they're doing or if it's if it's just for a testing thing. I guess we'll see. Uh, but right away, um, you, you notice that even though it might look similar from last year, uh, it does have quite a few interesting details. Um, another thing that I wanted to uh, point out, again, you can kind of see um, the, well, actually not too well in these pictures, but a side wing that comes out of the side. So let's let's check out the side view right now, because then, then you, you really start seeing um, what they've really done with this car. Now this, these, these pictures with the, bike, uh, with the white background are from the Mercedes website. And they're all airbrushed, doesn't show that much detail, like not nothing over here. Obviously they're not showing you what they don't want you to see uh, in these pictures, but these from the real film days um, That's where you can see uh, uh, the, the, the more intricate designs. So again from the side hand on head, head on from the side look at look at it here, too It just looks like a Like a couple cuts on the on the on the on the uh, side impact structure here say same with this uh, the, the other airbrush picture here But they are actually what they are is just more like wings, like a triple set of cascading wings. Mercedes kind of had been playing around with this uh, last year. Um, this side wing, you can see it coming out of here, kind of swept back the sign, reminiscing of that uh, the 2008 Ferrari had something similar going on. It was way more primitive than this. This is a piece that took some serious hours to design and, and to make sure. But again, all of this, and you can see it's just to funnel the air right neatly to the back of the car right neatly to the back of the car that's there's gonna be a huge area of improvement for the uh, for Mercedes <clears throat> now the thing with the T so clearly like it, well, th th these pictures from the official the official pictures from the site like they're clearly planning on running these uh, this wing it's, it's not like they're not gonna run it maybe it might, it might become one of those things where uh, they might show up uh, with it one weekend or a certain weekend and then not another weekend um, not sure about that. Uh, they've also said that about about the the shark fin. You know, like another thing that you notice from this car compared to the other um, F1 cars that that have been released uh, so far is that it's missing much. Like, what they have all the, they all basically have these uh, these shark fins except for the Mercedes um, that I've seen. But they have like a bit of a hint to it. Now regarding that, they've said that they might play around with it in testing and see um, see if it actually gives them. Uh, what they're looking for, but clearly they at least at this point they don't see a massive benefit. But they could also be be sandbagging. Who knows? Um, and and I say that because you know it's always there is there is always quite a bit of sandbagging this time of year. Um, but look at the rake here in this car. This is the car that Lewis was driving with the wet weather tires at Silverstone. Um, and and you you see from this session how there's an overwhelming amount of pictures from Lewis, and now you'd say that well, that, that's obvious because uh, you know Lewis is obviously like what people are, uh, you know, he's who people are interested, you know, over about Valtteri. Uh, he's in Britain, you know, whatever the photographers were just more focused on him. But you have to uh, you have to wonder whether that was deliberate or not. 
uh, or, or deliberately done uh, or even instructed handed down by Mercedes because and I think that this car so you can see it right away compared to other the other F1 cars that have come out it's not running or at least it doesn't seem to be running um, a, a dramatic change in rake um, from last year it's just you know rake is uh, sort of like the, the this thing that they do with the F1 cars where uh, the back of it rides higher than the front, right? It creates that slope and that, uh, uh, that again, it, it just, if you do that right, um, that gives you, that it can give you quite a bit of downforce for not a lot of drag. So that's an area definitely um, that the Mercedes and all the other teams were looking um, uh, to maybe approach and, 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 and try to do something similar to what the Red Bull has been doing to, the, to what be what's been basically Red Bull's MO uh, for the past uh, few years is just run a car with quite a bit of rake. But it didn't seem that way with the Mercedes. But I think that that's because these guys are, are you know, it's a sleight of hand. Look at this. Why don't you look at Lewis in this beautiful car? And then when they sent uh, Valtteri out with what I think is going to be like the actual real car with the real <clears throat> configuration at the back with the slick tires, uh, it's running quite a bit of rake. Like, that's not nothing. That's, like, look at the difference between this picture and that picture. And yeah, I know everything you want to say about uh, camera angles and everything else, but does it, does it justify that huge difference? I think they are actually uh, uh, running quite a bit of rake, uh, or they're planning on running quite a bit of rake. Um, let's, the top view is where you really start seeing what they've really done. And this is insane. Uh, this is just something incredible what they've done here with this car. Um, let's let's talk about this for a second uh, first here. So again, more of that jagged cascading wings design uh, right at the floor. You see that stepped design that's there. All of these um, design elements. Um, oh, actually, sorry, I forgot to mention something here uh, that I also found curious. Sorry, for the side view. This this piece of carbon fiber here, the, like you can see it there, it's sort of like it's got like a like a beveled um, look to it. But it also like especially in this picture, you can see how aggressive it goes. Again, jagged, jag, 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 jagged, 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 sharp corners. Um, beautiful piece of carbon fiber work right here, and this is you can see it better from um, in this view that and this view that it's sort of a continuation of the front wing. This piece right here, very beautifully engineered together, working together with these with this triple cascading wing, is just gonna funnel way more of that air down here to the back. Sorry, and now now we can see what's going on at the back uh, of the car, and I'll touch on that for a second, but again, you, you can see more of that jagged, sort of stealth design um, coming from the front, uh, but here, check that out. That is incredible. That is, uh, look at how much of of the of the floor of the car you can see. It's, I've never seen that before in F1. It's just, it's it's it almost looks awkward. It almost looks ridiculous how much room there is in between how tight they end at the very back um, of, of of the engine cover and the rest. Of the floor, hey, look, look, look! That's a person right there. That's one of the mechanics. Like he could, like if he wanted to, he could just he could like sit right there. Uh, another guy could sit right there. Maybe somebody else could fit over here. This is like seriously, this fits three guys sitting down probably. It's like it, it, it's a bit ridiculous and <clears throat> in a good way. I mean, you can tell that that's like, that's what they've spent a lot of their time on. Um, in the development phase of this car. And now you could say that this is the kind of stuff, this is the kind of luxuries that you can afford yourself if you are the dominant team, if you're not trying to play catch up with anybody else, if you're the standard bearer, so to, so to speak, then you can allow, allow yourself to really play it up, to really extract as much downforce. And look at these, look at these, look at these louvers here, sort of situation, this stuff, um, again, that's just like, for me is more confirmation um, that they are actually indeed planning to run quite a bit of rake or as much rake as they can. Uh, well, definitely more rake than they're uh, leading on because 
like you know the, this is the kind of stuff that you have so it channels air in such a way that it doesn't disturb what's going on here at the back of the diffuser kind of it almost almost creates um, a cushion uh, or, or sort of a barrier uh, for the air not to escape off to the sides um, as easily as it, as it would have been if these things weren't there so that's again uh, for rake again we see these uh, these beautiful side wings well look at that work man that, that this is great uh, but from that like you'll see like so this is the the hole that Lewis has to fit in and step out and from then to the floor there's quite a bit of jump like there's quite a bit of like almost as thick as his helmet's worth of carbon fiber wings and like jagged structures completely beautiful like Mercedes really have uh, done themselves this year now with this uh, t-wing or well uh, fin or, or well tail as some people are calling it uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna call it that but this t-wing um, again just they are exploiting uh, that sort of a loophole in the regulations uh, the, the same way that Ferrari is um, by putting this structure here that's just gonna help to channel the air more cleanly to the back wing he did all the work on the back of the car and if this looks strange if this looks this the the the, the backlight if it looks like it's sticking out maybe a bit too awkwardly it's because it is they, they've also done some work there too it becomes more apparent uh, 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 the, the, a little later on actually uh, I wanted to show you guys that uh, here, but th this is the kind of stuff that they've allowed themselves to do. So what what they've done this is that they've actually t turned the top of the um, of this light into an extra aero element that's gonna again help channel the air in such a way that they get the most uh, downforce right at the back. Uh, again, beautiful work for, uh, by Mercedes. Uh, you can see it again here. So this is the the rear of the car. There's not there aren't a lot of pictures. Uh, from the rear of the car, especially this this sort of view, um, obviously because they wanna they wanna hide what they've done, and 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 what they've done is quite dramatic. Like look at look at that. So if if you think that this like from here to sort of here, that's where the floor of the car goes or should go. Like if you follow that line all the way down. So like let's say we end up here, like like from here to there. Look, look at how much space they have available and how much they're using. Like they're almost using like only a third of the space here, right at the end of the Coke bottle shape. That's how tight they've managed to pack it. I want a lot of people to see because there's obviously all these cool little elements here, what they've done with the, uh, with the diffuser. You just, you look at this picture and you find like more tiny little details that they've done just again um, with this aggressive wishbone configuration, all of this, um, you can try to extract the most uh, uh, the most downforce at the back uh, of the car, and again, these comical, almost huge mirrors. I I don't get it. I if you have any thoughts about what this is, like please let me know. Um, but it, and this is actually these pictures are from uh, the Formula One dot com website. Strangely enough, they're getting their they're getting their act together, thank goodness, finally. But this, so you can really see it now. So that's the um, 2016 car versus 2017. And from the front view, wider car, the tires obviously like immediately look um, uh, bigger, but maybe not as dramatically as I was expecting because the whole car is wider. So it's wider car, you can tell from the front. Um, the top view, like then again, that's where you can really see what they've done here. Look at that. Look at look just, and the, this W07 was still like considered quite a tightly packaged car, but then look at it here, even more so. And granted, they are wider cars, but still, this is like like I said, it's it almost looks awkward. It it almost looks a bit too ridiculous how much uh, how much space they've been able to save uh, to, to save right there. Um, just just to go back to uh, uh, to, the, to this picture here, like yeah, again, like just so much space saved there. But yeah, you can definitely see it here. And then uh, side view, you can see all the uh, other elements swept back, uh, back rear wing, this little winglet here, and also just uh, overall a longer 
wheelbase of the car. And this, I uh, just wanted to like finish um, here on this note, these are two videos, two, two 360 videos that Mercedes themselves put out. Um, this one is from the reveal uh, in 360. You can move them around on YouTube, the links are at the, uh, in the notes here. Um, but also this one of Lewis doing a lap around Silverstone uh, in in the car, and it, this is what a great job. I mean, if you have a um, a vibe, an HTC vibe, or or something, you can see this stuff in 3D Google Cardboard. Even like this must be insane. But I'm just gonna leave it here, uh, so you can see uh, one thing. Um, so here's here here it is the the two guys, the two drivers, uh, Valtteri and Lewis, like unveiling the car. Some really cool, neat stuff that you see um, a little later on. Lou is here doing his selfies and whatever and social media stuff. Um, but look, check this out. Check this out. This is Lewis's car. This is the car that he's going to jump on right now. And look, it's got that jagged um, little, uh, what's called uh, the windshield, windscreen thing, whatever it is, that Rosberg used to run. Remember last year, and I think the, a bit of the year before, um, Rosberg was known for running this. But Lewis never had it. He never had it. I wonder if he's if this is just for um, for this show run, uh, or if he's gonna keep that for the rest of the year because that that's hilarious. Um, and and, and but again, uh, and just one thing that I wanted to show you guys. Remember when we were talking about the uh, um, that side the, the 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 side wing and all the L, the, the carbon fiber elements that are just uh, beside the driver here. Well, now look. To, Check out Lewis getting out of his car, like right around here. Uh, Lewis starts to get out of the car, and it's like he doesn't know where to put his foot down. Check, check, check it, check it. <laughs> it's like he, 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 this, he doesn't want to uh, ruin any of that uh, beautiful carbon fiber, of course. Um, uh, but yeah, anyway, that's it, and uh, we'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys later, and maybe I'll put another one of these for the Ferrari.